we appreciate our friends at Bridgetone Tires, allowing us and you to get to know the New Orleans Saints better. In this episode, his all-pro career was much, much more than okay. Oh, he had his trademark gray. And when it came to the media, trust me, we always appreciated him coming our way. Hey, Mike, you're a poet and didn't even know it, man. There he is, Roman Harper. I appreciate it, my friend. You ready to run some errands? Absolutely. Yes, in this Aaron's episode, Roman Harper keeps us busy, loading furniture, shopping for linens and candles, and we even have time for a haircut. But first, let's delve into the numbers. You know, I get a kick out of this. I see the 41 jersey all over New Orleans. Now, is that because of Roman Harper, or is that because of Alvin Kamara? It's definitely Alvin Kamara, let's be honest here, all right? But that's because of offense sells tickets and all that other <laughs> stuff, right? But everybody knows who the originator was. When Kamara started playing well, you're like, that's my 41 right there, right? You always cheer for a guy that's doing well in your number. Yeah. Like, you don't ever want a guy that's sitting on the bench <laughs> rocking your number. <laughs> it's not a good look. But the Kamara Harper 41 club was meant to be. You see, Roman gives us the inside backstory to how it all came together. Most people don't know this, but the, the real story behind Alvin Kamara getting 41 was when they drafted Marcus Williams in the second round, they were like, dude, we can't give him 41, then everybody's going to be like, oh man, you know, you're a, uh, keep going straight, oh man, they're going to compare him to Roman Harper all the time. You, you can't put a safety at 41 right after I leave. So there were only two numbers available were 43 and 41. And then when we drafted the running back in the third round, they were like, well, we can't give the running back 43, yep. Can't give the running back 43. Everybody's gonna think he's sprawled, so they just switched them up. Oh, that's that's true. That's a true statement. I know that from the equipment guys. They told me first. That that was the only reason he ended up with 41. It's breaking news here on air. Hey man, that's, I do that type of stuff. Wow, I love it. All right, we're not making these errands up. This is all on you. This is actually productive for Roman Harper. These errands. Were Yes, I, I need to get these things done. I'm, re, uh, you know, kind of cleaning up and redoing some things at my condo. Freshen up, I'm, we're about to go get a chair from West Elm. It closes in 29 minutes. We'll make it. We're going to make it. What are we picking up here? We're picking out an accent chair for my living room. An accent chair? An accent chair. Okay. It's just kind of the, helps with the feng shui of the, of the house. Functuality? Funk sway. The funk sway. Funk sway. Practice that again. Funk sway. There we go. I'm so learning. We, I'm learning from the master here. You're going you're gonna to be on point by the time we get out All of right, here. All right, we'll try. Um, months ago. Months whatever. ago? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm here to pick up a chair that I ordered yesterday. Okay. Did you have this kind of taste before you were married? No, hell. No. 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 I was just straight leather black <laughs> couch. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, this is the couch that I picked out. I think this is going to go great. All right, check that out. I want us to sit together here. Okay. All right, so this is what you picked out. So this is what I picked out, this yellow. I like this yellow. This couch ah. is not the most comfortable, but I don't plan on sitting on it a lot. I could take a nap right now. Yeah? Yeah. This is very nice. I've never had a conversation with you quite like this. Mike, man, you're, you seem like the same type of renaissance man as I am, you know? I can't believe you made me load this thing by myself. I mean, you shouldn't have brought the guns to the, uh, to the knife show, man. Good point. <laughs> Where are we going next? All right, we're gonna go get some candles. You need a candle for your house. I do. I need like two more for my condo. It's gonna be perfect. We it's get all the... about you, not me though. It really is, but it's all about the feng shui of the house. It's gotta have the, the right aromas, the right everything. It's gotta have the feng shui. It's gonna be good. Here we go, hit the button. All right, we're ready. You grew up in a small town like I did, Prattville, Alabama, but you're not shy. You don't seem intimidated by much, and you were great with the media. Why are you this way? You know, I think it's just who I am as a person. I really haven't changed. I, I try and be friendly and nice to every person. My mom didn't let me have an accent or, or talk all country, so I got to How does she not let you have an accent? Because the moment I would start to slip, she'd be like, da, da, da. That's, not, <laughs> that's not the words we use. She doesn't allow me to slip at all. So. And she still calls me. If I put up a video on Instagram, right. she's the first one to call me like, hey, you know you, it's not y'all, it's, it's you guys or it's... So she didn't let her foot off the gas. No, she still does not. Roman's mom keeps him straight off the field, but on it, when they played together, that job went to former teammate Jonathan Vilma. Vilma's a guy you had a fun relationship at the beginning of your career, right? Absolutely not. I hated John Vilma at first. He was a complete butthole. <laughs> 
and he was not a nice person. We did not get along. I felt like he was just, just kind of like an independent contractor. When lo and behold, I was probably the independent contractor actually. So I'm the one that needed to get in line. And then from there, he just kind of like started kicking me in the butt about some things. He did teach me this, that if you play hard, you got to be able to work just as hard. And, and as much as you, I like to go out and hang out and do all those other things, if I can put that same type of effort into work and playing football and understanding the little nuances and studying night in and, and night out, then I, I'll be just fine and I can do it on both ends and I'll be good. And, um, and I did that. Continuing the process of being interior decorators, what are we doing here? All right, we're about to go get some linens. Okay. All right, candles for feng shui. Mm -hmm. And if I see an art piece or two, I'll pick that up too. Let's do it. All right. All right. Gentlemen, start your engines. You're telling me not a one-car trip, not a two, maybe a three-car trip? This is Tarzay. You got to do it big or go home, baby. All right, let's do it. Man. Ask that people okay. have errands. Okay. What do you do with the medium towel? That is the biggest question in the world to me. Like, I get the face rag. Is this kind of like part of the rag. land of misfit toys right here? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like... The medium towel. The medium towel. Sorry, big fella. You're going back. You don't have purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what you got here? You got to fill this thing out. Let me see that. Oh, my gosh. I think that's all right. You got to test the product, man. You got to test it. Stack them up. That's not good. <laughs> all right, we're good. Boy, this could be the best errand ever. I see why you need all the carts now. That's pretty good. That smells like my cologne in high school. Is that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. My dad used to wear a uh, brute. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Do they have brute candles here? No? <laughs> Look, they got a Roman Harper jersey here. Until you turn it around. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Two errands down, one to go, Mr. Roman Harper. The last one, we gotta talk about the hair, right? I mean, if you wanna keep bringing it up, Mike, I mean, I keep mine. I think you dye yours. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I let the, I'll leave that up to the people to decide. Let's go to the next errand, get out of here. <laughs> I want to ask you about your relationship with Drew Brees because I think you, you know, it's not often a safety on a team and a quarterback had the kind of relationship you guys had, especially on Fridays in the weight room with music and college football, right? That was our connection, man. It's crazy. So I started doing this thing called 315 Friday. So I would go in the weight room and every week I would try and bench press 315 pounds. That's my Friday workout, too, That's, by the way. It's what I do, man. It keeps the stinger hot, right? Um, you got to keep the stinger hot. You got to keep the stinger hot, bro. <laughs> Drew would always do his extra work on Fridays. So you guys are going extra mile Fridays, kind of. Yes. Drew and I would be the last guys in there. Right. And then we'd have our bets. So we pick five games, five to seven right. college football games every week. Purdue and Alabama have to be on the ballot, all right? right. They, we all get points. And, and we do like another competition. So we do another competition with these throws. So we roll a ball to a certain amount in the weight room and whoever could get it to stop Just the two part. of you. Just the two of them. This sounds like something that started small and then just became it, a monster. It evolved yeah. so much over time. Yeah. And it, it, it never slowed down. Purdue never covers, all right? And they always get crushed. <laughs> Alabama always covers. So that's like, I'm up 2-0 every week. For entertainment purposes only. Yeah, for okay. entertainment purposes. I'm up to, exactly. to nothing right. every week, and uh, it was great. It's amazing, it, you know, it was just the two of you. It was just the two of us, and we started this, and it brought Drew and I together, and we spent so many hours on Fridays, just little stuff like this. It was great, I mean, we did it for years. This is your barber, Ray. How long have you known Ray? Uh, probably three to four years. He's been cutting my hair, I'd say. Mm -hmm. He's the best in the business, the best in New Orleans for sure, so. Have you ever been tempted to dye this? Oh. I have. You have? <laughs> I know that's just his signature. It's something you take pride in to some degree, right? 
Well, I just don't want people to think I changed. Like, I've had gray hair since I, like my first gray hair came in when I was in, what, say maybe eighth grade, ninth grade. And then it's been going gray ever since. So I don't want the people that know me since then to be like, oh, he changed. It's your trademark, like, though. It's your trademark. It is, man. I get the touch of gray. All right, I get it for free. Most people pay for this stuff. You know what? I've been with you a few hours, and I really will feel bad if I gave you a few more gray hairs, but I think we've had fun. I really appreciate your time. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, man. You did not. Well, you probably gave me like one or two more Maybe, maybe one or two. Right, man. You, you'd be hard to get lost up there with that man. We had a good time. Thank you. This episode of Aaron's brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, the world's largest tire and rubber company. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion.